today I'm going to show you how to use the FMM fluffy cloud cutters. Now the cloud cutters have been out for a little while. Um, we just want to show you today what a versatile tool they can be and they can be used for not just clouds. So to pop them to one side, here we've got five cutters and they're all different shapes. When it came to designing the cutters, we wanted them to be able to be used for lots of different things, so not just a fluffy cloud. So if you have a look at the cakes that I have to one side of me, this cake in particular, we have a sheep that we've made from the cloud, we've got the clouds, we've got shrubs, we've got trees. On the cake just to the other side, we've got puffs of smoke. On the cupcake down here, We've used it to make a plaque, which looks really cute on baby shower cupcakes. And here, just for some fun, we did a green sheet for St. Patrick's Day just recently. The best thing to use with the cloud cutters will be modelling paste. So I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of Tylo on my work surface. This is Tylo by Rainbow Dust, but you can use Tylo, CMC or Gum Trag. It's entirely up to you. So You'll just use a standard fondant or sugar paste, whatever you want to call it, and you just knead it in. And then what you do is you'll just stand it to one side just for a little while before using it. What you'll notice is that the fondant will start to firm up and this will make your modelling paste. So I actually prepared mine earlier, so I'm going to pop that to one side. So to the side of me, I've rolled out several different colours of paste. I've rolled it out and I've left it dry off a little. I always find that you get a nicer, cleaner cut when you do that. So we just place our cutter on top and you just move it around your mat and then you just pop it through. So it's nice and simple and you've got lots of different shapes. So I'll just pop this one through. This is the one that I actually used to do the baby plaque on the cupcake. And this one is also suitable to do a nice puff of smoke. And you can, of course you can use any of them to, to make a speech bubble as well. I'll just cut out one more. This is the one that I've used to do the trees and I've also used to make a sheep. So, one side. I'm going to show you how to make a muddy puddle so here I rolled out my modelling paste and I used the more rounder or kind of squarer shape of the the fluffy clouds. Slide it around my mat, pop it through and then all I do is I just roll some little splashes to come off. really simple to do and it's quite cute you can sit your character or your model on the top over here there we go we have a muddy puddle Put that one down to there so the next one i'll show you how to do is how to do a tree Again, we use the rounder, squarish kind of shape one. Put it on the modeling paste, move it round, and then with this, we just made the trunk freehand, so it's nice and easy to do. You don't have to be too particular with it. And add some texture. Use the trick. The other shape that looks 
quite nice as a tree as well is this one here it can almost look a little bit like a conifer kind of shape and again we'll just make a quick quick trunk to to go on it so if you want to, you don't need to split the branches at the top, so we can just make one like that to give us a variation. It's always nice to have varied items on your cakes. It makes it look a lot more interesting, and when your customer sees it, they don't quite know where to put their eyes first, really. So it's a nice one. There. The next effect I'm going to show you is how we created the shrubs going around the side of the cake using the clouds. So if I turn this around to the back, you can see the effect much nicer around here. And I always call this the jigsaw effect. I think it looks much nicer when the pieces are cut into each other and they sit nicely and flat on the cake rather than overlapping on top because the under part of the shrub could start to push through and then you get to see unsightly lines. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple to do. I just place my cutter on top and what I use is Three different shades of green you can use two if you want or four it's entirely up to you so any shape is fine they look really nice when they sit together when they're different shades again creating texture on your cake so I use my knife and scribe at all and I just go along the bottom. This means that it will sit nicely against your board. It's much nicer to have a side decoration than a ribbon where you can, especially on children's cakes. It makes them very interesting and children love lots of colour and detail. So I pop that on there three together. So we're going to go like that. So what I'm going to do is pop this on top here just take it to where it's quite comfortably sitting see here you would get the ridge as that sat so it's much nicer to be able to take that away slip that in and then we do the same again with the next piece so you can go either way, it's up to you if you want to, but we'll go the same. We'll pull that one out of the way so we don't cut through that one. Take our tool over the top and just place that in. Now when I do this on a cake, what I do is I measure around the base of the cake to see how wide the cake is. Then I cut out all the amount that I actually need. And then I start in the centre and I start to work my way around. And I just attach them to the cake with my, my water brush again. Just attach them on the side and then I stick the, the shrubs on there. So that's just another little decoration that you can make using your FMM Fluffy Clouds. One of the other items that's really popular is to make sheep from them they look very cute and like I said I've made one for the front of the cake but we also did them in a nice fun green colour for St Patrick's Day but of course they can be any colour that you actually want so it's nice and simple what I did was I used the the oval shape from the FMM essential shapes to make the sheep's face So again, nice and simple, popped it through and just attach with a small amount of water on there. Make the feet. Again, just attach this with water, but 
we're just doing it for quickness today. Let me stop to my finger. I need a little frill for his hair and we need a couple of eyes as well. So I'm going to roll out my modelling paste. We'll use this one here. Give him a nice funky high hair so. of ears. These eyes. This time I'm using the tiniest oval shape that we have. You can make his hair with the FMM Blossom Cutter set as well, this, this, the tiny ones. So just pop the eyes on. And then I just roll a couple of little balls of paste. And you can make him look like he's a little bit wonky eyed if you want. Quite good fun. It's looking up at you. So there's a little sheet there as well. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it.